Hey. Tell everybody hey. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs> Look at the camera right here. Say hey. Say hi, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. Your juice. Uh, see that girl right there? Y'all, this my baby. Subscribe. Say subscribe. Say subscribe. you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl stylish kine here and i'm back again with another seafood boil and you guys already know your girl is starving but before we get to the video and i start eating and grubbing make sure you guys hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and let me know what type of videos you guys would like to see next on my channel or ask me some questions or anything like that I would get those videos out to you guys. So yeah, y'all already know I got my Bee Love sauce and I got some king crab legs, um, snow crab legs. I have a lobster right here. I got muscle potatoes and I have eggs and along with some lemon. So you guys, let me say my great man. Thank you, Lord. So you guys, yes, let me go ahead and eat because y'all already know your girl is hungry. And I'm like starving, y'all. Oh, look at that feet of sauce. So this sauce have been like sitting. Ugh. Mm. So yeah. Y'all, this B Love sauce have really been marinating since yesterday. And so good. Mm-hmm. I'm so ready to get my girl pun punky sauced. Y'all already know I tried it. But um my packaging was buzzed. So I wasn't able to um get the full amount. So she rent <coughs> she resent me some more. And she also, I also ordered another one because after trying that little bit, you guys, ooh, after trying that little bit that I did try, y'all, it was so good. So good. Mm. So good, y'all. That juice be amazing. Can I get no meat out of here? It's meat in there. <laughs> then some of y'all be saying I don't get no. I don't be. Somebody wrote me and said you ain't getting no meat out. So what I be eating? <laughs> I am. Um, y'all, fun fact: I've been eating crap all my life, literally. Blue crab from snow crab. I remember as a little girl, my daddy used to be, I used to be like, Daddy, can I get some? He used to be like, no, you're going to have to learn how to crack them. When I, when I was growing up, and to now, like, they don't play about seafood. So if you want to eat some seafood, you better know how to crack them yourself, clean them, if you want to eat them, because I can't sit here and just feed you all this good eating, and you don't even know how to, um, you don't even know how to eat them. Y'all, they loose. Mm-hmm. That lemon. Y'all do that. So, y'all. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so good. Y'all, today is Friday. Happy Friday. Even though y'all won't see this video until probably next week sometime. I'm gonna get all the meat out. Mmm. 
Where's my lemon? I wish I had some um some vegetables. So I gotta go get me some um some cucumbers. Y'all know I be creeped out about these mussels. Like if they too big, I don't be wanna eat them. Y'all be playing around for real. Look uh these things be looking a little weird. And I'm just so creeped out. <sighs> yeah, I was thinking about doing a video with my sister. I don't know what type of video we should do though. Sauce is so good. Wish y'all who haven't tried it should try it. I'm sure y'all have by now. Y'all don't mind my little mannequin back there. I be forgetting to move her. Sometimes I be attempting to move her from behind me. Cause sometimes she be creeping me out. I have to keep her in the corner. Cause she just seems so real. Y'all don't know what y'all missing. So. Let me clean all this out. I should have cut it, but... I'm hungry. I cannot break this. clean all that off. I'm not gonna eat all that, but I wanna eat this. Unless this is just real good, sweet. It's real sweet. Y'all, ooh, y'all some like that meat. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Y'all, they look so good. Y'all, they look so good. So good. Mm -hmm. So good. So um, yeah, I was watching this crazy. My sister be my sister be putting me on all the um Netflix movies, y'all. I don't know how she be finding them, but she be finding them. Y'all watch this movie called Doctor Foster. Crazy. It's a, not a movie. It was like <clears throat> 15, 16 episodes. If y'all haven't watched it, go watch it. Really good. Being that I'm advising y'all to watch it, I don't want to be like a spoiler because I want y'all to watch it. Like, it's really good. But I'm going to tell y'all a little bit for the ones that won't watch it. <laughs> it's about... I finished it. Right. And when I saw this, 
I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to talk about this movie on on my um my channel because for the ones that haven't seen this, need to see it. I don't know, but I just feel like it was so relatable to a lot. Um, about and like I said, it ain't gonna be a spoiler too much. But it was about a lady who was married and had been married. How long were they married? Seven years, maybe, or maybe more. I can't even remember. But she was married, husband, kid, and basically. completely stop her life to you know of course and basically she was a doctor and she sacrificed to be with her husband to leave her family um move away to where he was from left her friends to be with his friends just everything about him and was married to this man But he was out here cheating. Now, the the crazy part about the movie was the show. Y'all, I'm going to say movie because I just say movie. Sorry, it's a show, series, or whatever. The crazy thing is that, like I said, y'all, she had her friend. Well, she was friends with his friend. So, everybody that she knew, she knew through him. So, they all knew that this man was cheating on her. Like when I tell you everybody was in on it. And these people was in her face every day all day. The doctor that she worked with was all his people from the neighborhood. Like they all knew what was going on. So when she found out that her husband was cheating... She thought that he was cheating on her with an older lady around his age. But nah, he was cheating on her with the dang old lady daughter, man. And when she found out he was cheating, y'all, she didn't even say nothing. Because they was telling her it's a phase. Um, they he wasn't even talking to her for long. He ain't gonna be talking to her. It's just a phase that he going through. He's just gonna be just you know basically screwing her until he can't no more. And things gonna be all right with her and her husband. Wrong. Right? Don't you think that? Don't you think like okay? He <clears throat> he cheating on me, but it's just a phase. It'll go away. He ain't gonna be cheating on me long. He'll be done with her in a minute. Wrong. This man was not leaving this girl alone. It had been going on. She kept quiet two years. Two whole years. Thinking her life, her happy ever after family would you know was the mm, you know she would get through it and she would they would be back a happy family again but he did not leave that girl alone um he did not he ended up when she did tell her husband about this she knew um i don't really remember what happened because it was long y'all but the girl wound up being pregnant. Um, and it was just a lot because, like I said, the a uh, lot of stuff in the movie happens in real life. And when I say happen in real life, because when he, the little boy, so they had a son together, right? <clears throat> so, typically, you know, when you divorce for so, I mean, when you married to somebody so long and have a kid, you divorce it affects the kid and the kid really don't understand what's going on so they kind of like um uh, 
pick pick the other parent over the other parent. So long story short, the little boy he was mad with his mom a lot. Um, he felt like it was, I'm sure he felt like it was mostly his mom's fault, but um. So he used to like get mad with his mama a lot, have an attitude, and he wanted to go live with his dad. But when he went to go live with his dad, a situation had occurred where when he got drunk at a party, and he kind of like did something that he wasn't supposed to be doing as far as like coming on to this girl sexually a little a young well she i don't know if she was a young girl but she was um around his age but basically it was like she was saying no and all that and he kept on um, forcing it so this man had completely left his family to go be with this girl who carried his baby and had his baby had a new baby which was a girl a little girl so when the incident happened with the little boy, and mind you, he was living with his dad because he was mad at his mom for, I was just putting the daddy out, <clears throat> whatever. So when the situation happened about the little boy at the party and the little girl, the, um, he want y'all, oh, I'm, fat. I'm going too bad, hold up. He wanted to marry the girl that was pregnant. Everything, like marrying her, just starting this complete family with this girl. He like he didn't love his wife who have completely stopped everything for him. So she um hold up. So when the incident happened with the little boy, she was like, he can't stay here. Um, now he mad at his mom. He like he can't stay the the stepmom. Now she's the stepmom because obviously he married her. But y'all I might be bad at telling stories, but I don't know. I'm doing the best I can. So he was the little boy, the wet lady at the door, like he can't live here. I can't chance him basically messing with the little sister, his own sister or nothing like that. And he looking at his dad like dad, like I'm sorry, like, it wasn't, like, he didn't know he was drunk, like, he was a little boy, but he also going through the fact that his dad is not no longer in the home with him and his mom, like, and the daddy literally stood there and turned his back, like, I'm sorry, son, she doesn't want you here, like, what, that, like, oh, it, that broke me, y'all, because I'm feeling like, oh my god, this is your kid, this is your son, like, he already, they not even understanding of what he's going through now. The mama did. The mama was understanding. Like, she knew her son was hurt. She knew the things that he was doing because he was hurt. That's any good. Y'all, when I tell you, when I saw that man turn his back on his own child over that woman, that little girl because the girl was younger way younger than him when i saw him turn his back on his own kid that like crushed me i cried because i'm just like oh man i just couldn't imagine what that little boy was going through the person he wanted to you know he needed the most literally turned his back on him right in front of him huh when he did that that little boy didn't want to have nothing Else to do. Now you can tell he cared about his dad, even though he was mad at him. He still like, cause the mom wanted to literally hurt the man. Like, let's. She wanted him gone. She was trying to figure out any and everything to do to get to him. Like, for him to feel that hurt that he had to put her through. Like, she had been with this man for years, and he literally just turned his back. And everybody was telling her, you should move, you should go do this, do this, you should just leave the house. She was like, no, like, this is my life. Like, oh my God, y'all, it's just really good. Y'all have to really watch that movie because, not movie, but series, because it's good. And 
it just show you like how people how situation really be happening like a person will turn on you in a minute and you won't even you'll be thinking like what the heck happened like it can happen so fast people can switch up so fast for real because it was definitely but that little boy ain't want to have nothing else to do with his daddy he won he was mad at his daddy and wanted his daddy to hurt but he didn't want nothing to happen to his daddy so long story short you guys she did everything in her power to turn his life upside down which i felt like she should have just let go but you got some females and women that'll be that hurt be just that hurt y'all i feel like she did a lot she did way too much like girl come on just get up live get up like she but she couldn't like everybody don't know that everybody don't know how to do that and she was one of them because she made she literally wanted him to feel that pain that he hadn't put her through already she wanted him to feel everything and when he would so she basically so basically the girl had money family had money and her dad would do anything and the dad had already told him long as my daughter happy which i'm talking about the new wife long as my daughter happy like all good her family paid for everything like he was living in the best house driving the best car like everything so long as he was with a young chick he was good <laughs> yeah, what do you got to support i'm finna eat he Look, was look at the uh, oh place come and eat oh she got her food. <laughs> Me? Uh -uh. You come. What did you make it over there? I'm making it and you interrupting. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got some little things. Oh, this is so cute. Oh. So. <clears throat> yeah, you guys. Um. Um, what I was at, I was interrupted, sorry, Vanessa, y'all, but, um, so basically, yeah, the dad, oh, I learned my daughter happy, blah, blah, so she was telling, she wound up sleeping with her, the husband wound up sleeping with the ex-wife, and so the ex-wife tried to record it, <laughs> like an idiot, she tried to record it, like they was gonna do something, but he wound up seeing that she recording it, and he still slept with her because the ex-wife pushed herself onto him so she was like trying to sleep with him to get back at her like oh i slept with him he cheated on you and the young girl when she wound up telling him like oh he cheated the girl was like i already knew um we we worked past it like we got over it da 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 da, -da. so the ex-wife thought he was it was gonna like break up everything but nah she the girl was like come again we got past that so that didn't work she really manipulated the young girl to into thinking that he still wanted her like everything in their house reminded him of her she was like oh that watch you wear every day i bought him that watch the girl was like no the wife was like no he said that was a gift da, 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 da. she was like no that he's lying and he was like she was like this picture right here is such and such mean this and that and this 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 mean this and that with me and him convincing the new wife like your husband is nothing like don't be that same girl that i was been here for years and then boom she really convinced her that you know what i'm saying the man that you just married ain't nothing so the girl thought about it and was like i'm not finna sit around here and wait on this boy to get it together and da da da, da. and i don't want to be just like her years down the line he doing the same thing to the next girl and the next girl blah blah, blah. so the new wife believed it and when i tell y'all when he got home everything was gone 
she was leaving she was taking a little girl she told him you ain't gonna never see us ever again and then the husband the daddy was there he was like now nah, didn't i tell you uh, keep my baby happy da 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 he ain't had none he ain't had no pot to piss in <laughs> so after she had not put him out gay got in the car she he took the kid he was like what about my daughter my daughter da da da, da. She just kept walking. She was like, you'll never see her again. And when he, when the family pulled off, so once he pulled off, she pulled up, the ex-wife pulled up with the windows all up. He was crying. He was like, what the heck just happened? And when the wife was there explaining to him, like, yeah, everything you remind, you thinking of her, da 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 He was like, what in the world are you talking about? That's a lie. That's a lie. Like, what, what, what? She was like, I ain't hearing it. She had to convince her so well that he still wanted her to the point where she believed him. She loved him. And when old girl pulled up, he was banging on the window. And he was crying. He was really hurt. Like, and she just looked at him like, you feel what I felt. Yeah, <laughs> you feel what I felt now. And he was like, "What? Did you, this is what you want? Like, what are you doing? Like, just tell her, like. It's crazy. It's really good, y'all. And y'all haven't seen it? I don't even see it. It's called Dr. Foster. I don't think I can eat no more. I haven't even ate an egg, but I'm about to eat an egg. The egg gonna make me hit it on the spot. It's so sweet. That be love sauce. Eat an egg. Ah, oh, hold on, y'all. You think I can do it? Yeah, egg gonna get it, y'all. But I'm about to bust. I'm about to bust. Yep. Can I do it? I don't think I can do it. No more. So, that is it for this video, you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, and comment this video if you guys enjoyed my mukbang. And I will see you guys in the next video mukbang video love you guys bye